Hi everybody. It's yes, a fam. Thing. Um, this has just been one of those days. We were supposed to get a big blizzard today, and the wind was like almost 50 mile an hour wind. We were supposed to have like 48 inches of snow. Um, they canceled school for my son, and we got um, a trace of snow. The sun came out. We did get the wind but just a trace of snow. This is Chloe. And this came in the mail actually yesterday. And I don't know when it's gonna be loaded because we are having problems with our internet service, but we have tried the world. So, and Miss Chloe in the background. Hi, Chloe. She's wondering why I set the box down next to her box. Because I had an Amazon box come in with Quest Bars. I'm a Questaholic. I have put them for breakfast every morning. And Pumpkin are the new ones. And they're so good. So, a box full of popcorn seals. Let's see if I can get this out of here without making a mess. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It's coming slowly. I know I'm going to get at least one of these on the floor. <laughs> there went one. All right then. And this is our box by the world. I have like no makeup on. It's also Veterans Day. I don't know when this Happy will be Veterans loaded. Day. But my dad was a veteran and he passed away two years ago. So what is that Play-Doh? What, you want me to show them your Play-Doh? Love y'all. So I have like no makeup. I look like crap. But today we are doing the culture guide of Spain and welcome to Spain. If there was one word to describe the people of Spain, it would be passionate. I can see your hands, by the way. Um, and if there was one word to describe their country, it would be diverse. Um, within the untamed beauty of its countryside and coast, Lonely villages perched on cliffs, sun-baked beaches, and endless white sand. Ancient churches steeped in Islamic tradition. <clears throat> Urban centers vibrate with life and energy. Flamenco dancers, the running of the bulls, festival, and dynamic nightlife make Spain many cities as striking and diverse as the country's culinary heritage. We invite you to flip through our culture guide to discover two special features. Tips for hosting your own Spanish tapas party at home, as well as a list of top Spanish sites and to add to your travel bucket list. We hope you enjoy your journey. Buena via, via, hey, try the world. I wanted to show you guys something real quick. I was just thinking about this while that was a... Uh, this right here is a picture of my daddy. Salute. I don't know if you can see that. It looks really bright. Can you see that? Without the glare. That's my bedroom. All right. So the picture of the young lady dancing and the chef behind the Spain box is Jamie Bichonette and let's see how to use your box how to host a tapas party um, some of the recipes guess that looks yummy mmm 
You're welcome to pause the video when I do that and steal the recipes. Your party playlist. Party game. Top sites in Spain. The Royal Palace. I may butcher this all up, but Sagrada Familia, the beaches, and Parque, the Mosque Cathedral in Cordoba, Alhambra, El Tajo, yeah, I'm just jacking those up, but there's some more. And that's the end of the book. Some mascara you can see it all on my hand because I was wiping my eyes it's been kind of an emotional day thinking about my mom and dad and Veterans Day and um, my dad was in the military for four years between 61 and 65 I think it is I see you Dean I'm doing try the world if you'd like to pop a squat over here in the corner Maybe pop a squat and scooch down. I'll back this up a little bit. You can come around. He technically should be in the video with me. I'm going to take it off the top. We can probably move that down. The Spain box. Floral gems, the stuff that's in the box, and then there is Try the World. You have no glasses on, dude. No glasses. Where's your glasses? Do you have any idea? Um, no. Maze! What? Look on the table and see if Daddy's glasses are on the table. Otherwise, I can see pretty good. Can you? I can't get this off. Let's see what this is. Mace, don't do that. Tim Berna, come and fall in love with the country. Unique folks and traditions, magical architecture, text, texture, texture. Um, passion for the arts. What does Spain taste like? Living the gastronomic experience. In Spain, gastronomy is a unique way of life. Mace, please don't. In which you are war Mace, I can see you. There's a naked boy in the corner of my picture. What's that? I don't know what that is. Um, Mace, please don't do that when I'm on here. Just bring the glasses, please, from the table. All right, then there. don't, then go. They're not there. We got a naked boy in the picture. <laughs> the different wines, different cuisines. Mason, please. Okay. No, a wine is one thing I would associate with Spain. But there's probably no wine Ines in this box. Rosales since 1910. It is a coffee cake. Um, the traditional way, the good way. So that's cool. Start off with some coffee cake. Let's see if it says anything in here on the coffee cake. Um, da -da -da -da. All right, Sadie. She's desperately to sit behind Daddy. Um, it's a traditional Spanish pastry flavored with cinnamon and lemon and filled with a cider cream. These crumble cakes continue to be made by hand according to a recipe that was developed over a hundred years ago. Should we try it? I like the sounds, sound of that. And the back. And it's 
slides. Oh, they're little individual cakes. May put on a t-shirt and you may try a coffee cake. I don't want to. There's one for each of us. Look how cool like that is. The There's one for each of us. Innes Rosales. May. I can see you in my background. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Hi, Madden. Mm. Very bad. The young one's off school today. There's no. Uh, there, there was supposed to be snow. You want yeah. that? One. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, Sadie. You get. Mm. Now, one of the fellows I work with, he put on Facebook. Well, well, we have a very blustery day. Very little snow. It's cold. But he said he couldn't believe there was no school today. He said back when he was a kid, he'd have to walk to school in weather like this. That much snow. Up the hill both ways. It's very messy, but very good. Okay. Then we have Oleum España. Oh, there went half your cake. Um, extra virgin olive oil. We always could use some of that. Let's see. That keeps falling in here and I can't get it up. Don't say it. All righty then. This is extra virgin olive oil located in Cordova, a region that is Internationally recognized for producing high-quality olive oil. Oleum Hispania harvests ripe olives grown in high altitude. Get out of there. Stop it. Stop it. Um, orchards. Orchards. Before grinding them in at cold temperatures just hours before or after a harvest. I can't speak straight. Or speak right. You want to do the next one? Since you're already digging. <clears throat> Did you find something you wanted me to? Well, the next one also looks like a treat. This is a Caladet Suprema El Alm Almandro. Um, crunchy almonds. Um, El Almendro has been producing Turon, a popular holiday candy with raw ingredients and traditional craftsmanship. This one made with Mason, with cr crushed almonds and crunchy is slightly sweet, a perfect pairing for coffee or tea. Now, interestingly enough, 60% of this is almonds. It's the number one ingredient. You don't see that every day. Should we see what's in here? Dean went straight for the, the candy. In here. Mason, what? now you got a shirt on. We got candy. Want to try some candy? Whoa. Did you try the cake? Yeah, yeah I don't really like it. Because the lemon? I just like it a little. All right, so. Mason, you can't do that while we're on the video. This looks like it's going to be another messy thing. Messy. Mace? What? There's like a weird out. Ew. Outside. I don't like it. Like a wafery outside? They have a very nice nutty taste. It must be the almonds. Yeah. Reminds me of peanut brittle. I don't like it. I like that. Yeah. It's crunchy, but it does not stick to my teeth, so I like that. It's got peanut brittle wood. Mm -hmm. Mine does stuck to my teeth. One zero one one zero zero one one zero zero. One 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 one. One zero one one zero zero. One one zero zero. Mom, I've been by robots too much. One zero one one zero zero. Protect from direct sunlight. 
once open, keep refrigerated, and consume best before 15 days. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Jasmine Petals Jam. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Let's see okay. what that says. Can you miss in the middle of the whole box for a minute? Mm. What are you doing, Let's go over. Mm. No. What are you doing? I guess I'm alone. No, he wants to scoot over. Mm -hmm. You want to sit with me, Mason? No. These delicate preserves are made using artisanal production techniques with ingredients grown on the company's what is that? What? That you have? Just a stick that you Um, Company Family Farm in Southern what Spain. They are delicious with toast and served with cheese or tea. Get an idea what the bottom looks like. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, her cat is being wild. Can oh, you have me another one? She just shirt's a mess now. Okay. Well, I do one? this one. Um, it's a fresh tomato spread. Tomato. So I'm maybe not going to eat this just say how. Please don't like tomatoes. But it's gluten free and allergen. It's best before end mm. of twenty twenty, which will be a long. This time. sounds it's amazing. Batch number C jar. Well, it's very simple. It's tomato, I'm olive so oil, salt, and garlic. Once open, keep refrigerated and consume within one week. Within one week. It says, made with ripe tomatoes, olive oil, fresh garlic, and salt. This tomato sauce is delicious. Spread over toast or served as a dip. See the recipe for pan con tomate in your culture guide to make a delicious tapa or a, Catal a Catalonian breakfast with the sauce. This sauce sounds amazing. Okay, next is Espinale, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry, um, from 1896, it's light tuna in oil, that I will definitely eat, nobody else like, eats tuna in my house, I think I do. might like that, that's all the way I from Spain. I eat some, I eat some tuna. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully I'm going to do the baby food challenge soon. Not done. Well, you know, Renee stole one of our baby foods. Yeah. My sister stole, but for somebody else, not for her. Um, baby food. Canned white tuna, a family company dedicated to quality of their products. Espinala obtains um, Bonito del Norte or white tuna from tr tropical and tr subtropical waters. Around the world, it's delicious. Over Mason, please don't. Crostini and tossed in a salad or mixed with warm rice dishes. Mmm. Oh, Molly. Okay. Molly. Can you take that out of there. Is there one thing left? Yes. This okay. is. Smoked mild paprika. Ingredients are pimenta dulce. Oh, it's all in Spanish. Okay, I'm going to show you the container, which is really cool. One zero one one zero zero one one. One zero one. Sorry about the. One zero one. A little bit of a glare in there. Okay. This it says. Find it. There goes my cell phone. Paprika is a primary ingredient in many of Spain's best known dishes, including vegetable or seafood paella and patatas bravas. And you can do your culture guide for a recipe. El Evion makes this one packaged in collectible vintage tins with ripe peppers to maintain the spices, bright color, and flavor. So, our box contained this, the paprika. Can you lift it up a little bit? The fresh tomato spread. The jelly. It contained the little cakes that we ate. 
Little cake. Oop, oop. Little cakes oh. go in here somewhere. And it contained the crunchy almond. And it contained tuna. <laughs> and contained, how did all this fit in here? It's a trick. Know. And the cards from Spain. Maybe it's like a Michael Carpenter. Maybe that's what. So we hope you enjoyed the opening of our box. There's another there thing is, in here. And there is also olive oil. Oh, yep, I forgot the olive oil. My goodness. Ah. It's actually a pretty good box. It is. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. That's uh, sideways. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, please let us know if you want us to do any challenges. Lift it up. But uh, we love all of you, and God bless. Have a good day or night. See ya. It's a family thing. Bye, everybody. Bye.